Greetings. This is your culinary ambassador, Baron Ambrosia, standing outside one of my favorite locations on the planet. You guessed it, the newly remodeled Arthur Avenue Market, right here in the heart of the Bronx's Little Italy. Come with me as we gear up for one of the most delicious holidays of all, Easter. Where are we, Baron? We're in the real Little Italy in the Bronx. You know, the Bronx is a big place. I saw outside, new look, it looks beautiful. Buddy, it's been five years in the making. Thank God I hailed to Congressman Serrano and Joel Rivera. It has more of a European look to it. The doors were made in Greece. I mean, really special. It took five years, but thanks to guys like Congressman Serrano and Joel Rivera, it's happened. Yeah. New York City building, this is a city building, the city markets, ports and terminal really put a lot of effort into it. It's helped us out a lot. And you know what? We have something special here. We have Pizza Rustica, Subrasad, it's Easter time. For us, the Italians especially, you know, it's Passover too this week. Their menu is pretty interesting too. But when it comes down to it, I'd rather have Easter Sunday meal. You think these people came all the way from upstate just for basic supermarket stuff? They want the best. Right. Senora, where are you from? We are in Connecticut. We're from Connecticut, <laughs> North Carolina. Whoa! So you understand, Baron? So you guys that are local in the Bronx, hello. You better come visit more often. Let's go. We roll hand-rolled cigars every day, fresh, um, all day, every day. Thanks for having us back. You know, we've been gone for about a year. We're, we're making a comeback. We have a 10-year age Dominican Nicaraguan blend with either a Connecticut Shade Wrapper or the Brazilian Maduro. Brazilian Maduro is a little bit more rich, stronger. The Connecticut is creamy, nutty, mild blend. It was uh, bouncing at a, a nightclub called China Club and uh, a good friend of mine who uh, owned one of the higher-end cigar shops in New York, handed me a, a Dunhill Cabrero. From then on, you know, I started purchasing cigars and purchasing humidors, and then I got into my own cigar business. When I got bored with that, I wanted to start my own uh, line, and that took a lot of dedication, a lot of work, and that's where we are now, creating our own uh, Bronx uh, born and bred cigar.